530, the number of COVID patients in the hospital across the state surged past 2,000 today. Thanks for watching. I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Russ Bowen. Today, we saw the largest one day jump in ICU hospital admissions across the state. That number of COVID patients currently hospitalized in North Carolina hit the highest single day increase in six months, an increase of 173 patients compared to yesterday. And here at home in the Triangle Hospital is also nearing capacity. Duke Health is now treating 90 COVID patients. That's almost double where they were in late July. UNC Health also seeing an increase of more than 100 patients. About 260 are there compared to late July. CBS 17's Crystal Price live at Duke University Hospital. Crystal, Crystal rather, are the hospitals able to make room for those patients? Yeah, right now, all of their beds are filled. They are working to make more room, but they also say that they're also in need of more staff. At Duke University Hospital in Durham. We are right at capacity every day. It's becoming more and more of a challenge to find places to put all their patients. We work to move patients around and help move them through. Dr. Lisa Pickett, Chief Medical Officer for the hospital, says their emergency department has been at capacity recently. So they've set up these triage tents to make more room for patients to be assessed before they're admitted. And the hospital isn't just seeing an increase in COVID patients. We're very full for trauma, for heart disease, uh, and other illnesses. And there's a concern that as space runs out, surgical procedures could be delayed for some patients. We have not had to do that to this point. But if things progress, um, that is a possibility. At UNC Health, every bed is pretty much full. Dr. Linda Butler, Chief Medical Officer for UNC Rex Hospital, says they are also seeing a surge in both COVID patients as well as patients who put off care for other illnesses during the pandemic. And when they finally did get to the hospital, they're sicker and they're staying longer as well. She says they do have an overflow unit set aside where they have room for more patients. But she says that only only goes so far because they're also experiencing a shortage in staff. Tonight, hospital officials are urging the public to get the vaccine so you don't end up in the hospital. That is one thing that can prevent uh, COVID infection. Now, Dr. Butler says 20% of their positions are vacant, which makes a time like this even more challenging. Reporting live in Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News. All right, important to see that, Crystal. Thank you.